All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the actual recording process in OBS. So if you don't know how I got here, if you don't know how I have added my desktop background um, into OBS and did the webcam overlay, go back and watch the previous video, and I'll show you how to create these sources down here, how to what to name them, um, how to make sure they're set up. So now it's time to actually start our presentation. Um, we see that whatever is on our background is actually inside of OBS here, giving us a preview of what we're seeing. But you do notice that my webcam uh, doesn't just appear on the corner of the screen anymore. Well, OBS still sees it. OBS is still uh, sort of overlaying that. And in my final video, it's going to be there. Uh, so don't worry that you're not seeing it when you're going through your presentation. So there are a couple ways to start and stop a video. Again, uh, in the last video I showed how to, in your settings, make sure that you're getting an output MP4 and that it's going to the desktop. Um, if you haven't done that, I really suggest you do just to make it easier to get these files when you're done. So I'm going to start it one way really quick and we're just going to look at it um, and then we'll do it another way um, once the PowerPoint presentation is up to save you a little bit of time and effort. So I can hit start recording right here and that's all there is to it. OBS is now recording um, itself and my webcam. Just to prove it, I'll minimize this and we'll take a look at the desktop. And now I don't see my desktop. OBS is seeing it. You guys aren't seeing me right now because of the way I'm recording this and I'm not seeing myself because you're seeing a live feed of my screen right now. But OBS isn't displaying my webcam over top of it. So whatever I do right now, in that final video that OBS is creating right here on my desktop, um, let's open the website even, uh, my webcam is still going to be on top of it. So we'll go back into OBS and just like we started it, I'll hit stop. I'll minimize that, go to the desktop and open this. Now I'm not sure what the audio playback is going to be like for you guys. I can't hear what I'm capturing, um, but this should be working if I had no speakers, no audio being captured right now. OBS is seeing it. You guys aren't seeing me right now because of the way I'm recording this, and I'm not seeing myself because you're seeing a live feed. So that's sort of what that's going to look like. Um, now when I open this. I can actually make sure that OBS is minimized at the bottom of the screen. I can go ahead and open this PowerPoint. Now this is just for a, a PHED class on, I think this is a video tutorial PowerPoint, but it, it probably has nothing to do with your class. Um, so don't focus on the content. This is just a, a PowerPoint that I wanted to show. Um, so now that I'm in PowerPoint, um, you can start a slideshow like normal. Um, so if you know how to, if you don't know how to do that, maybe just hit F5 on your keyboard. That'll start the PowerPoint. So we're going to make this a fast and easy transition, so you don't have to worry about taking any video off the beginning or the end of this. Um, now we don't see my webcam, but I promise you, OBS still has it. If we minimize this, we see that uh, my PowerPoint is showing in the background. So when it's full screen, I'm going to be recording that PowerPoint presentation full screen with the webcam overlay. So the fast and, and quick trick to do that with OBS, if I right click this icon down here on the system tray and on Mac, it's going to be pretty similar, except you're going to have that dock down at the bottom. You can right click on that uh, OBS icon on your dock on Mac. But for Windows, uh, we're going to do start recording from right here. And immediately I can either hit F5 or uh, press that button to start that PowerPoint. Um, now you're seeing what you will see from your perspective right now this is what you're going to be seeing on your screen um, because OBS is running that webcam still up but it's in the background uh, I can see my full slides there's nothing in the way um, so I can start tabbing through the slides or I can start clicking through the slides or whatever I need to do um, now in your presentations you're probably going to want to take a lot more time per slide and really get the message across.
And when you're done with the show, all you have to do is right click that icon again and stop recording. So let's minimize that. And now we should have a second video. So this is the first video from earlier. You see that the next video has been created right after that on the desktop. So I'm going to open that up and see what it looks like. Right here. And, and immediately, immediately I can either hit, hit F5, F5 or uh, press, press that, that button to start, start that PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Um, um, now, now you're, you're seeing what you, what you will see. see. From, from your, your perspective, perspective right, right now, now this, this is, is what you're going, going to be seeing, seeing on your screen. screen. Um, start clicking, clicking through the slide. slide. And when, and when you're done with the show, show all you have to do is right click. Alright, so you guys have an idea of what that's going to be like. So the thing to keep in mind here is that you can always go back and redo that over and over again until you feel like you've done uh, the best job that you can do. Um, there's no reason that you can't just hit stop if you think you messed up, if you think it's taking too long or it's not going to be long enough. Just go ahead and stop. It's going to create a file on the desktop. If you don't like it, just drag that thing to the recycling bin and get rid of it and start again. Um, there's no reason you can't do that over and over again until you're feeling comfortable. So there's no reason that you really need to be, um, that you need to hurry up and get it done. There's no reason that you need to um, be nervous about it because you can always just do it again. But as you're finished with OBS Studio, all you have to do is exit. Um, your finalized video is going to be on the desktop by that point so you can open that up. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload that to YouTube.